Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love if you would subscribe. Today we're gonna to be talking about the best drugstore skincare products under $15. First up is this Thayer's um, Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula Alcohol Free Toner in Rose Petal. And this is obviously super popular. I'm sure a lot of you have tried it. It retails for $9 on Amazon, which is where we get it. They also have it at Target now. Yeah, which is amazing. It's 12 fluid ounces, so that's a lot of ounces for $9. And yeah, we always gravitate towards alcohol-free products because they don't dry out your skin. It's just better. This has aloe vera, so it's also very moisturizing. It's paraben-free gluten-free, it has rose water, which is super moisturizing, it cleanses and tones, so you could even use this in place of a cleanser mm -hmm. if you're trying to wash your face less, which sometimes we do, and it just goes on the skin really nicely in a thin layer, it absorbs into the skin pretty quickly, and it feels very moisturizing, so we really can't say anything bad about this. I know, it seriously is so good, it's very natural, which we like, because, I don't know, if you can have a natural product that works, we prefer that, and yeah, it's so easy to get a hold of, we've been using it. Out of all the products we're going to talk about, we've been using this one, one of the longest. Yeah. Next up is another toner. This one is new to my routine. It's the Mario Badescu Alpha Grapefruit Cleansing Lotion. Um, I didn't really know what a cleansing lotion was, but it is a toner. It's essentially the same thing. I think cleansing lotion is just more of a gentle toner. It's not like in moisturizing. Yeah, it's more moisturizing. It's not like an, an astringent that has like acid that's gonna like strip your skin, which like I know people use that if they have like acne or something, but I was going to get the glycolic toner by him that is really popular. Oh, and this is $15. Um, the glycolic toner is very popular, but I was reading on Ulta, like, if you have sensitive skin, you shouldn't use it, and they suggested this one instead, because the grapefruit in it is, like, a gentle exfoliator, but it's a natural exfoliator, so it's not going to, like, really irritate your sensitive skin, and I've been loving it so far. I mean, I've only had it for a couple weeks, and I've already used down to here. This is 8 fluid ounces for $15, so it's not as good of a deal as the Thayer's, but I do feel like it gently exfoliates, and I actually haven't been washing my face in the morning because my skin is so sensitive. I've instead just been putting this on a cotton pad and kind of like cleaning my face that way, and I feel like it's just perfect for that because it gets all the dirt from the night before off, but it doesn't strip your skin. It actually does kind of moisturize, so it's really a good prep for all your other skincare, and yeah. Side note, I thought it was going to smell like grapefruit because it says Alpha Grapefruit Cleansing Lotion. It doesn't, which is sad. It almost smells like powdery, kind of like an older woman smell. Like, you know, like that older lady perfume smell? Kind of smells like that, which was disappointing. But I need to try more Mario Badescu products because I think they're, they're good. so good. Is the CeraVe, CeraVe, we don't even know how to say it. We always say CeraVe. Hydrating Cleanser from Normal to Dry Skin. This is $14.99. You can get this at Target and, and at Ulta. Yep, and at um, CVS. Like, but it's more expensive at CVS. It is, but any drugstore. Yeah, and we really like this one. We initially bought the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And we really liked that one a lot. It was so good for sensitive skin, but our skin has just been so dry, which I know we complain about all the time. Like, our skin has just completely changed. It's now it's dry skin. <laughs> and so we wanted to try the Hydrating Cleanser, and it's super nice because it doesn't foam up at all, so it just literally can't really strip yeah, your skin. Yeah, it kind of feels like a lotion. Yeah. It's weird. It's weird, but you still feel like you're face is clean afterwards it doesn't leave a film like you know if you were to put lotion on your face to try to clean it with lotion <laughs> yeah. it wouldn't really work like this doesn't leave a film at all but it does kind of feel like lotion going onto your face and you get 12 ounces which is a really good deal because these cleansers last a long time especially like we've started washing our face less so our skin like keeps its natural oils. Mm -hmm. So we'll wash it at night. So if you don't even wash it in the morning, like this will last you a really long time. Yeah, I actually, I feel like I use more of this than I did the foaming cleanser because I felt like I needed less of that. But the foaming cleanser, I think that lasted me like at least nine months. So yeah. I hope I get as much use out of this. Like honestly, out of everything we're talking about, I think this is my favorite product. I think it's, it's helped so good. my skin the most because it really doesn't strip it. And it yeah. just... But it still cleans and it gives you like really good moisture. And I don't it has know. hyaluronic acid, which attracts water. Mm -hmm. So it helps you retain moisture and it has ceramides that help restore the skin barrier and emollients, moisturize and soften dry skin. So it's if you true. have dry skin, you have to try this. Next up is another CeraVe product. We love this brand. It's Everything so we've tried has been amazing. This is the CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion with Broad Spectrum SPF 30 for normal to dry skin. And it's $13.50 at Target. $13.50 at Target. It can go up in price depending on where you get it. Um, you get 
three fluid ounces, which doesn't sound like a lot, but we use this daily and I go through it pretty slow. Yeah, I like am at the, the end of the bottle here, but I've had this for a while. For yeah, sure. I mean, so we were on a hunt for a face lotion that we could use every day that had sunscreen in it. And SPF 30, you should always wear 30. At in your least face. 30, yeah. So we like had researched a ton and this one came up a lot, but I didn't want it to be too greasy or like leave that like film on your face. Yeah, like cause sunscreen mm -hmm. on its own is very greasy when you put it on your face. Yeah. It's so hard to find a sunscreen that actually soaks into the skin. Yeah, and this lotion sunscreen hybrid definitely soaks in. You don't need a lot, but even if you put on a lot, you just keep kind of rubbing it and it it just goes into your skin. Mm -hmm. It's so perfect for under makeup. Um, it does say you should apply, um, at, reapply at least every two hours, which every sunscreen says that. I mean, we don't, and we have seen, like, good skin for the past couple years since we've been using this. Yeah. This is really the only sunscreen we use on a daily basis. It does smell like sunscreen. Yeah, which I like. I think yeah. it smells good. Which is fine, because then I feel like you know it's working. Oh, and also, this is a physical sunscreen, which you should always be wearing. We're not going to go into, like, the difference between, I forget what the other one is. Um, is it chemical? I don't know what it is, but a physical sunscreen like literally blocks out the rays, whereas the other one just absorbs them, so it it's, some of it still penetrates the skin. Mm -hmm. So always look for a physical sunscreen. You can just Google what one you're, you want to try, and they'll tell you if it's mm -hmm. physical. So that one, this is like a really good deal because physical sunscreens tend to run pricier. Yeah, and um, it is non, we don't know how to say this word, non-comedogenic. So non-pore clogging. Yeah, it won't clog your pores which a, a lot of people have the issue with sunscreen as well. So if you are someone that has like sensitive skin, like acne prone skin, oily skin, this, you'll love this. Like, yeah, it's good for all skin yeah, types. This will be really good for your sunscreen. Next up is Aquaphor Healing mm -hmm. Ointment, Advanced Therapy. I mean, this everyone uses, I feel yeah. like. Petroleum Jelly. But we had to mention it because it is so good. For 3.5 ounces, it's $7. So like obviously this is a huge jar. Yeah. I keep it by my on my bedside table and I use it on my lips before bed. Like I have some lip sleepy masks, but mm -hmm. sometimes when you just need like extra moisture locked in, this is just really good to use. I also use it when I have an eczema breakout on my eyelids. I'll put all my like creams on and I'll put this on top to lock everything in. Like it's just mm -hmm. so it locks in I know. moisture. I had a face rash recently, I put this all over my face. And then I put it under my, are we a super dry under eye? Yeah. I put it under there. It really moisturizes. Like, you wake up with supple skin. You can put it on, yeah, like, I mean, it's for everything. You can put it, and it it's, says dermatologist recommended, which is true, because my dermatologist recommended this to me. And it's fragrance-free and preservative-free, so it's just really good for your skin. Like, mm -hmm. if you are on a strict budget and you just want something that's going to help Maybe like lock in moisture and keep your skin like and lips like it works and so good. Like just it, this would be the number one product to purchase because you can use it in so many ways. You can use it on your elbows. You can use it on your hands. You can use it all over your face. Mm -hmm. Like I think it even takes off makeup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like Vaseline but better, way better. Next up is the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rosehip Seed Oil. We raved about this in a favorites video, in our Ordinary video, so we won't talk too much. But it's 1150 from ASOS and the Ordinary website, and it's just amazing. We use it day and night because it just like <laughs> it just makes your skin so supple, hydrated. It like helps to clear any breakouts you have. It has vitamin C in it, so mm -hmm. it also brightens the skin. Yeah. It does everything. It's amazing. We've really been loving the ordinary one. I know you can get rosehip seed oil basically anywhere, but this one is extremely affordable. Obviously, like my bottle is so gross. I'm almost done with it, so I need a new one. But oh, you! I love that it's in a dropper because it's so easy. Like you don't use too much product yeah, at all. So it, you can go through a bottle and like mm -hmm. I don't know maybe this is my second bottle. So yeah, let maybe me think. a couple months. No, it's been longer. I think five months. I've left. Really? Mm -hmm. And um, I use three drops. I don't know what Britta does. I use about three. And we think that works pretty well. We also reference. mix. I either put this on top of all my skincare or I'll mix it into my moisturizer. So, I don't know. There's a lot of ways you can use this. Mm -hmm. We absolutely love this. So, you could do a whole video just on this. It's like our holy grail skincare product. It's so good. Next up is another oil that we've also talked about in a favorites video. This is... 100% pure squalane oil, and we get this on Amazon. It's $11 for this two ounce bottle, which is a steal. Really, it's good so deal. hard to find a two ounce 
skincare product. I know. They usually come in one ounce, maybe 1.7, but mm -hmm. two ounces is a really good deal. And as you can see, it's just a clear oil. It comes in a dropper and it's super lightweight. You probably can't tell from these droplets, but it's very lightweight on the skin and it's so insanely hydrating. Oh my gosh. It comes from olives. So I don't even know how they make it, but I read about this, which we mentioned in a favorites video, on a Refiner29 Money Diary, and this girl like raved about it and how it was the only thing that helped her dry skin, and I was like, we need to try that. Yeah. And so I immediately ordered it from Amazon, and it is such a lifesaver. I mix this into everything, like mm -hmm. moisturizer, I mix it with the rose hip seed oil. I like mix it into anything I can because it's so hydrating, but it's also lightweight on the skin, so it soaks into the skin without sitting yeah. on top of it. It's a miracle. The rose hip seed oil is a bit thicker, and yeah. sometimes it can be hard to spread. So at nighttime, I usually mix the two together because this really thins it out. So if you have any oils or skincare products that are just thick and very hard to kind of like move around, this would be like a great like, I don't know, mixing. Oil kind yeah. Of. Mm -hmm. It's so good. You should try it. Next up is my favorite sunscreen. I love it so much. I actually left the big one I had in Michigan, so I only have this mini, but it's the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen. This one has happens to be SPF 55, but they have it starts at like 30, I think. It goes like 30, 55, 75. Which we've 80. also read that technically sunscreen can't be more than 30. Yeah, but I just buy the 55 because I feel like what I, what do you have to lose? So there's there's one that's like 95 or something, which I don't really trust. But they all feel the same. I've used the 31, I've used this one, and it's $8 for the normal size, which I think is eight fluid ounces. This one was only like $2 at Target in the travel section, and I cannot find it anywhere after I bought this. And I want the little travels because they're so easy to like travel with, but if you, if you have it at yours, you're lucky because I don't know what happened to ours. But anyway, the sunscreen is just perfect because it just melts into your skin and it almost mattifies your skin because it says like ultra sheer dry touch sunscreen and they're not kidding like it's dry touch you put yeah. it on your face on your body and you touch your skin like two minutes later and you can't not even feel it. it at all yeah like it almost mat mattifies it's weird but i love it for that because if i like want to mix it into a moisturizer just like prime for my makeup i can do that and it doesn't like add any grease like i don't know how they do it but it's hands down the best sunscreen and you need sunscreen in your skincare routine i'm sorry but you do it's just necessary this is the Soap and Glory Scrub Your Nose in It 2 Minute T-Zone Detox Scrub. And this is $11 at Target. You can also get Soap and Glory at Walgreens. And I think it's about the same price. And we love Soap and Glory, by the we way. Do. Such a good brand. And this one says for oily or problem areas. And obviously, you're supposed to just use it in your T-Zone. And even though I have dry skin, I still love this because it's so... Well, you can see it's green. Ew, my cap's really gross. But you can see it's green. And it smells like minty and fresh, but not overpowering, if that makes sense. And it's so, the scrub is so finely milled. Like my issue with scrubs is so many of them are so harsh because mm -hmm. it's like a sugar scrub where you just, I don't know, it's like tearing apart your face. And you're like, oh, like it feels good after, but it hurts a little bit. And then your face is kind of red. So if you have sensitive skin, like those kinds of scrubs just will not work for you. And you mm -hmm. shouldn't even try to use them. But this one is so finely milled and since it's just for your T-zone, like I love it because I feel like it's actually getting stuff out of my pores, which I know sounds so gross, but like we have large pores on our nose. Mm -hmm. And so when I use it, I just use it in the shower, by the way, because it's only two minutes. So I'll just stand there like while my conditioner is on and just like scrub my T-zone. And then it just makes the shower smell nice too. So it's actually a really nice experience overall, but all you have to do is rub it in your T-zone and it just like you feel like your face is fresher and it's definitely more soft. It definitely looks brighter, which I love brightening up my skin. It says leave skin brighter and more radiant, which <laughs> is true. And for $11 and you only use it on your T-zone and you get five ounces, like this could literally last you a lifetime. I use this all the time and it's heavy still. There's still so much product left in here. So as far as scrubs go, this one is definitely one of my favorites. Last up is the Sephora Sheet Masks. The one we have here is the green tea one, but we've tried, I think, all of them. The rose petal. The I love rose petal so good. The pearl is really good. Those are both like They're $6. Moisturizing right. ones. Yeah, they're $6. It is one time use. If you think that's expensive, like, I get it, but they're really good sheet masks. Like, 
they just moisturize, they just do everything a sheet mask is supposed to do. I feel like they're easy to get because most people have a Sephora around them or you mm -hmm. can order from the Sephora website. And yeah, they're just really good masks, like all of them. There's and like there's 12 different ones, I Yeah, think. so if you, no matter what type of skin you have, you can find a sheet mask that works for you. Yeah. I feel like a lot of other mainstream brands that release sheet masks, they'll release like maybe one or two or just for oily skin. Mm -hmm. And so you're like, oh, I really want to try this, but it's not really for my skin type. Like if you need issues, if you have like brightening issues, like there's one for that. Like, yeah. There's literally there's one so for many, every and problem. Each one is a different color, and then it'll tell you what it's for, like this one, mattifying and anti-blemish. So it's very straightforward, it's super easy, so like if you're ordering from the website, you can just read what it does, order it, and you know it's gonna work, because they're really good. Like, one of our favorite Sephora products. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let us know your favorite drugstore skincare products down below.